Hey right guys, Trish Munches Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of Glee season 4. Last episode was decent, like I said I'm surprised by this season so far, it's continuing to... I don't know if impress me is the right word, but I do want to say surprise because I did go into this season, or way back in like mid-season 2 was when I was told to stop at the end of season 3 because season 4, 5 and 6 are just awful. <laughs> uh, but season 4 so far, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the start of this season more than I did the start of season 1. Granted, the start of season 1 I wasn't like, you know, that invested with the characters and stuff. I've always said that I do want to go back and re-watch those episodes at some point when I have finished the show. Uh, just to see if my opinions do change, which I'm sure they would, uh, kind of knowing the characters and going back to those episodes. But season 4, uh, it's had like one really bad, stinky episode so far. Other than that, they've either been okay or good and then a couple of like really great ones as well so hopefully episode 7 keeps on with that trend so if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and of course if you want the early and uncut reactions to glee then the link to the patreon page will be down below where they should be around four episodes ahead but for now let's do this what the fuck Secret Society of Super what's oh the special. superhero is club is actually a thing injustice asian persuasion here my superpower it, okay. is being the mistress of manipulation okay Tarantula head here. Right. My superpower is lashing you with my treads. Um. My superpower is money. Ah! Excited to be here. What playing. the First fuck? All, there are no civilian identities in here. And second of all, I'm oh really not trying to pass off as a certain telepathic leader of a certain group of Why? super mutants because that would be a copyright violation. I'm Doctor Y, and my superpower I is. Wanna I want to die. Doctor Y, I want to die. Only supposed to be for emergency. I can't you believe this is an actual club that they're doing. Getting... What's going on? No, I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop right now. Please, please. Oh my god, this is going to be one of those episodes, isn't it? It's going to be one of those apps. I actually want to watch Jake, Marley and the new characters I want because they are not going to be part of the superhero. No. Team Horse Girl, that's what her superpower would be. She turns into a horse. Oh my god, he actually looks like, he actually dressing like Will. Who is that? I've always wondered, I see the picture crop up. So, who exactly it is this cave? Warblers, 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 warblers. The guy you're here to see. Captain of the Warblers. Captain of the warblers. captain warblers. Who we got here then? He's gonna spin around in his chair. Yup, there we go. I knew they'd send you. Who's this? Allow me to answer the obvious question. I want the warblers, I don't want you. When you rejoin the warblers. And why would I you get do that? Why would you stay? Do it. They know you don't belong there, so why don't you? We all know the real Blaine, Blaine. Oh, squad! Ambitious. Do it! That's not gonna work. Please! Why be afraid to try it on? <laughs> what the? What's going on? What's going on? An impromptu song. Yes! No, no, no. I want one song for your old buddies. Guys, I, I didn't come here to sing a Please. song. Please. Okay, can we get Oh! Oh my god! A warbler song. Oh my god, I never thought he'd hear a Warbler song again. Uh, you look too good in that blazer, Darren. Just accept your fate. <laughs> look how smooth they are. Yo, this is getting a 9 out of 10 straight up. It has like, it automatically goes to an 8 because it's Warblers. What actually is unique? Nobody asked you. Oh, Come on, it, guys. is she off Glee Club permanently yes. because of the last step? I don't know if it's just... Avengers. Seriously, just call yourself Mega Stud? That's my alter ego. <laughs> so your superhero choice. Oh, uh, right, right, this step so far, right, it's just, it wasn't even there. He's like here and he's done that. Okay, why did Jake just pull that face? This is not an actual song. I refuse to believe that. Isn't it a nice degenerative nerve disease? I thought it was a girl's magazine. No. <laughs> Yo! He just punched him! Stop it! What the fuck? That was Dom, now Jake's ruined. They're both idiots, what am I, who am I kidding? They're both dickheads. You sound like Yoda, dude. Do you do we have? No, I knew he was gonna do it in the Yoda line. What's going on? What's this? I hate the superhero vibe. I don't give a shit. Are you still driving the bus to Puke Town? What? Oh, she needs you to know. stop with this. Are you still giving yourself Key, shut up. I've done it every day this week. 
Of course, Shadow. Why are you taking advice from Kitty? That's what I don't understand. Why the f Oh my god. Then you have my permission to die. Good to know, man. That's pretty good to be fair. Let the games begin! Why has Sam got one brain cell? I don't understand. My whole life I've never felt like I fit in. I made you tell me what your note said because I couldn't read it. Oh. You can't read. Meow. Um, well, I don't know about you, but um, this cat's feeling so much. Okay, so what I said about Kitty, outfit as I could have been wrong. Now, oh, and she actually kind of plays Supergirl, so this, right? like she does most that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I think Wobbly oh. Fetus would have been better. Wobbly Fetus has entered the chat. What the fuck? You know, if you got rid of Kitty being a twat, these two would be kind of cool. What the, what the fuck? See, I want to be like, these two have got good voice. I can't say that. These two have good voices together. That was sick. I'm going to go an 8 out of 10 with that one. Maybe even a 9. It was just good. we will go a 9. It was fun. He's been taken by the dark side. Okay. You are also bold after right now, so there's that. 7 to FK. Wait, even I can't do that that quick. What the fuck? You look good a bit more to Ryder, though, at least. Time's up. I like this. It's added more to his character, which is what they needed to do. Early in the season, the before so the romance much. stuff. Oh, Finn waited there for him. <laughs> Ryder's smart, he just needs to, to work harder. Yeah, Finn could probably relate to that a little bit. I don't mind that they're doing it now, it's just I feel like they've wasted time on used the stuff and now they're doing the good stuff with him. To be, to be fair with Ryder though, he's only been in for three apps, he wasn't there at the start. So, it's actually not that bad. Thank you for helping me, Finn. Like, to me, stuff like this matters more than a love triangle that doesn't have any chemistry at the moment, so. I like that. That was a really good scene. Boom. Six pounds this month. Well, six I knew pounds. It was Damn. She talks about you all the time. <laughs> you had to say, didn't you? Chance. Look at me. Hey, dump truck. Oh Get back to my work. fucking god. Uh, oh, Jake, I give you permission to Coach throw him Cappuccino. through the window. Fix my boy. From now on, you mess with him, you mess with me. Go in. GGS. Okay, all right. Okay, and mate. Me too. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot! They've got Alti on their team. You had my back. Now I've got yours. Yes. Can we stick to them to just being mates? And that would again build on their characters. <laughs> Is that Puck? I'm the Pucker Man. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Back it up. Question: Is she hot? <laughs> For fuck's sake, Puck's yeah. only question. Uh, my advice: Don't be a dick, but don't give up. Thanks, bro. <laughs> okay, I guess they're talking, I guess. Nice bit of Pokemon advice, which is also terrible advice, but... Wait, what? No. What's this? What is this? Is it because I don't look at all like my profile picture? <laughs> what? At the lighthouse? I'm oh, sorry. is this... So that was when he slept with Kurt? He's a guy that friended me on Facebook. Yeah, okay, we still didn't see his face, and he did not look like a lighthouse, but... Because I cheated. On the one person that I love more than anything in this world. Yeah, at least you're self-aware about that. You gotta forgive yourself. You gotta stop. What's what's the word when you? Oh make my God! Villainize. Yeah, you gotta stop villainizing yourself. This yeah, isn't you a good. That wasn't cool. Store off for some. You're, you're trying to make it right. Hey, we got a song. There you go. And it's actually a Sam solo. We can beat them. <laughs> we can beat them. Oh, I'm playing JK. It's not Sam solo. Never mind. Yeah, I like these two. Dude, that was not the song I thought it was going to be, but I'll give that a six. It's fine. What are you doing here, bro? Oh, haha. <laughs> Wrecked. What? I was really looking forward to hanging out. Uh, me too. I, I just. But he just told you why he can't. And it's really important. Awesome. She That's better not now go out with Jake because of that. I swear like to God. The new super heroine Marley's not gonna wait around. So you're gonna retaliate by going out with Jake, and yeah, of course you are. When I said she was Hi. garbage, I meant what are you it. Doing Friday night? Of course. Um, I don't even really like Ryder. I just, I don't even really like Jake. It's just, oh, he's going to do his. Uh, why is she so short? He's gonna do his lesson. So now I'm gonna retaliate by going. It wasn't like that. Yeah, definitely are. But I know I'm gonna have a Jake was what I meant to say. And I wouldn't mind that if she told Ryder like, okay, but I'm gonna still want to do something on that night because I put time aside. So I'm probably gonna go out with Jake or something. But she just didn't. She just went and did it. 
All the Marley stands are gonna shit all over me, but we are gonna kick some warblers sorry asses. Yes. Yeah. Then it's yeah. Then it's Oh a tune. A tune. I'm excited for next episode at least if I've got sectionals. Whichever one it is. Oh, oh alright, Jake. I'm taking your girl on a date, just so you know. Oh wait, did she not tell you? Okay. I can't believe she's still friends with Kay. I actually can't believe it. I was almost there with Marley as well. I felt like she was almost at the like stage. And then she ruined it. <laughs> oh, there, there's that strain again. There's that Marley strain that I was on about. It's kind of like they're wearing what they did with when they... The first step of season one. First time they've all worked together pretty well. Boom. I'll go a 9 out of 10 for that song. That was decent. It was a good way to end that. All right, there we go, guys. That is episode seven of Glee season four. Uh, I'll go on with the Marley stuff straight away. So she was almost there for me, like, in terms of liking her character because I like, get with the Kitty stuff, she's going to, you know, she's letting Kitty talk to her and she's not really aware that Kitty's trash and what she's saying to her is trash. And I don't mind that so much because she's just maybe trying to see the best in people and maybe not being like oh what Kit is saying is garbage i need to cut her out of my life like i i think it's a storyline that i'm fine with uh, like Kit's garbage and she's you know giving all this shitty advice to marley and marley's just taking it on board like it's normal advice when it's not <laughs> and you know that's just kind of like waiting for marley to realize like oh Kit is a garbage person so call around that and that's just more of like a waiting for that to happen but I'm not like mad about it. The thing with Marley though is she listens to this advice and then she was told by Ryder I can't do today um, for our date so can we do next week because I've got this lesson that I need to do and if he did that multiple times like if this was like the fifth time he did it or maybe even like the third time he did it I'd maybe get it uh, but it's the first time that they've organized a date and that he's been like okay we need to postpone it because you know I found out I'm dyslexic and I need to go to these lessons to help boost up my grades and stuff and even said I want to give uh, a scorecard to my parents that says like an A on it or whatever. So I think that's like very reason, extremely reasonable and in retaliation she's like no I'm not waiting around for no man I'm gonna go on a date with Jake and as I said in the reaction I also can understand the sense of like she wants to do something so she's gonna go out with Jake but she's still saying it's a date and it, the kind of the way they did it was because of a retaliation against what Ryder said. So now she's doing going on the stage with Jake. It's just like why? <laughs> you could have told Ryder as I said the reaction, just tell him like, okay, that's fine, but I'm still going to go out Friday night, so I might just chill with Jake. Is that kind of cool? And obviously, it's not. He's not going to be the best pleased about it. But can she not wait one week? <laughs> Because you know, just wait one week, and then like I said, if he does it in the next week, then yeah, fair enough, but this is the first time that he did it. So, Marley was like here, then she got up to here, and then she went all the way back down. So, yeah, I'm kind of at the reset with her, I'm just, I can't be asked. And I know all the Marley fans are going to defend the shit out of her and give these deeper meanings about why she did what she did, but I'm pretty... Yeah, I think I explained pretty well about why... I can see parts of why she would do it, but then also don't agree with how she went about it. And, you know, it's not like she turned down Ryder, but she also wasn't giving him the entire truth and just imagined in her head because of what Kay said about why Ryder's not going on this date with her. It's just a bit dumb. So yeah, Marley, whoop, way back down here. Uh, uh, as for every other character, I think they did a very decent job with Jake. It was nice to see him have a conversation with Puck, which was cool, and then kind of looking out for Ryder a bit. Uh, but Ryder, I think they gave the most with with this with this episode because there was about 10, 15 minutes in the set where I was like, oh my god, Ryder and Jake are going to fight and they're just going to piss me off. And they did start to piss me off a lot in the episode. Then they actually gave some development to Ryder and it was actually kind of nice to see. Um, as I said, I'm glad they're doing that. I'd rather have scenes like that than a love triangle that I don't give a shit about. And again, Finn kind of being there for him as well. I like that. And then uh, Ryder kind of returning the favour, being there for Jake when they were... Uh, at the cafeteria or whatever so I liked all the scenes with the new characters I think they were definitely more interested in this whole superhero theme they were going for which I'm fine with it's just more so the editing choices just feels very weird and out of place uh, with certain episodes and I get they're gonna have silly-ish episodes like this like oh they're all superheroes but I just I don't love it I never fall in love with like these you know oh different silly episodes oh the trophy got stolen let's go steal it back and this whole like is Blaine gonna join the Warblers was so short-lived and Sam convinced him to stay by singing a song with him 
I know he did that little speech about you got to forgive yourself and whatever, but that speech was not that great, to be honest. It would make more sense for Blaine to rejoin the Warblers, and I think he should have. It would have been a more interesting storyline than him literally being sidelined in the Glee Club. But nope, uh, that was just a nice little dream that I could have had, but didn't exist, <laughs> unfortunately. We'll see more of the Warblers, I'm sure, at like sectionals or whatever. Is that, is that the next episode? I don't know if they said it's in a week or in a couple of weeks, but that could be the next episode. I also like that they didn't show Rachel and Kurt again. Like They, they had a lot early in the season, and now they've done two apps. Not the last episode, but the episode before, where they just kind of weren't in the episode. And I like that as well, just letting things sink in more with the new characters and stuff as well. Like They've done a good job of introducing us to the new characters and still having like Rachel and Kirby there, but then letting it settle in a bit more with a couple of episodes of just them uh, being in the episode instead of Rachel and Kurt. So I kind of like that. It's, even though I don't agree with some of the story choices they've made with the new characters, I do think it was a good idea to cut out uh, Rachel and Kurt. As much as I love those two characters, um, I do think it was a good idea. So yeah, some things in this episode I really liked. The songs were bangers. There wasn't one bad song, I think. I think that there was one like 6 out of 10, which was the Sam and Blaine duet. Uh, their voices weren't bad, I just didn't love the song that much. Had a very solid one there at the end with a I think every other song was like a 9 or an 8, so the songs were really good. Uh, I didn't love the, like I say, the superhero thing and the trophy being stolen and the Blaine rejoining the Warblers was very short-lived and a bit pointless at the end of the day. But I did like what they did with the new characters, I really love what they're doing with Finn, as I said in the last episode and I still really like what he was doing in this episode. He's kind of got, he's t becoming Will but he's not as cringe. <laughs> so says, he says some questionable things for sure but in terms of like Will being cringy Finn's not quite as cringe just yet hopefully he doesn't get that cringy we'll see uh, so yeah rating for the episode I'm gonna go a hmm, this is a hard one it's either a high 6 or a 7 I think I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 though because I do think there was some good stuff I've got 80% on track interesting I would not go that high I would not say this was an 8 out of 10 so yeah I'll go 7 out of 10 for this episode there we go. Thanks for watching. Do like and enjoy. Let me thought the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time for episode 8. All social media stuff in the Patreon will be linked down below if you want to check any of that out. Until next time.